I started thatching um, before we were all married. We worked in different areas of the country, seeing different styles, different ways thatchers worked with different materials. And then also locally, all the sort of older thatchers than me, all the really good thatchers, I went and worked with them for a while to, to see the way they did it, to get a good um, overview of different ways, different methods, different style. It's all slightly different. Well, I've been doing it for three years now. And um, the main reason I sort of started it was because I wanted to work outside, didn't really know what to do. Um, showed us little interest in thatching, but uh, my dad worked on the same site as Chris and um, got talking. And I worked there for the summer holidays with Chris, liked it, so I just stuck at it. Yeah. <laughs> Josh has got a more formal, uh, proper apprenticeship. I, I am personally a member of the National Society of Master Thatchers, and Josh has got an apprenticeship with me, but it is monitored by the National Society of Master Thatchers. Well, you get, um, you get a big folder you have to gradually fill out once you complete different tasks on the roof. And um, you also get a mentor from, the, from a member of the society who comes out whatever it is, um, a couple of times a year to uh, assess your work. If he wants to learn a particular aspect of thatching that we might not be doing for some time, um, an unusual material, a, a peculiar feature, through the National Society of Master Thatchers, he could arrange to be placed with another thatcher for a month who's got a job using that particular material or a particular feature. But after about they say sort of three to five years, between three and five years, and then, um, you know, you should be qualified by then. You should have filled that folder out of all the different aspects of the roof, and um, then you become a master thatcher. So by the end of his apprenticeship, he will have covered all the three main materials and most features that you're likely to come across during your career as a thatcher. <laughs> The three usual types of thatching are the three materials, water reed thatching, which this house is, and the reeds are harvested from the side of a river or a lake or fresh water. And then there's combed wheat reed, which is actually a, which is actually a straw, um, and it's, it's grown and it's cut and combed, which is get, getting rid of any of the rubbish in it, and so it's cleaned out, freshed so you get the, um, the seed out of the ear. Then we've got long straw which could be the same type of straw growing in the field, but when it goes through the threshing machine, it only goes in the drum and has the grain removed. And when it comes out, it's all jumbled up and the thatcher has to sort it out before he uses it. Yeah, still enjoying it. I love being outside. Um, every day is different, really, which stops it from being too boring. But um, yeah, no, I am enjoying it. It's uh, better than school anyway. It's a very good course. It's, it's monitored by an independent third party so that I don't take advantage of Josh. Um, if I have any complaints about him, I can go to the third party. Um, it's just an independent referee to make sure it's all done properly. And you got any complaints about him? No, no, he's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to say the same about you? I though? hope so. <laughs> <laughs> How about Chris as a boss, as a kind of mentor? Any good or a bit of a nightmare? <laughs> no, he's all right, he's a good laugh. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm only saying this because he's over there, but... Um, no, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's fine. We've had a number of apprentices over the years. Some have been successful and some not. Some have given up and gone on to different things. Uh, one emigrated. 
but had sort of two Thatchers who successfully trained, um, one of which still works with me now. To get into the thatch roofing game, it, it is quite difficult. You will need to know or make yourself known to a local thatcher um, or possibly National Society of Master Thatchers or there's some local Master Thatchers associations. Ring around as many thatchers as you can, asking them if you can uh, do an apprenticeship or come and help, come and help work. They're more likely to say, yeah, you can come and help on site and then if they like you, they'll, um, they might keep you on. A lot of them will say no, but yeah, the viewing round, there's a chance, you know, a couple might say, yeah, you can come and work with us, see how you get on. Yeah, I do think there's a bright future for thatching, um, as the carbon footprint of a thatch roof is a lot less than a conventional roof. You know, there is, there isn't, a, there's not an infinite supply of clay. Thousands of tiles have to be man-made, using lots of energy. Whereas reeds grow every year, or straw grows every year, you're locking carbon up. Um, it's good insulation. Um, it's, a, it's a great roof. Yeah, I definitely prefer a thatch roof. There's a, there's a great job satisfaction there once you've finished it. Um, when, you, when you're driving down the road, a, a tiled roof doesn't really catch my eye, but I think a thatch roof catches everyone's eye. So, yeah, I'm uh, pretty pleased with the job I'm in. Mm -hmm.